This is the most commonly used beard, and as such, it's kind of hard to pin down. You're probably decent, but not great, and if you had to pick from one of the three iconic sets, you're most likely a Kraken. Otherwise, you're probably wearing the generic Sea Dog set, not because it's the first thing you get, but because you like the look of it. I mean, hey, it's way more pirate like than whatever the fuck this Shakespearean goth clown bullshit is. Just give us a fucking slot for accessories, Rare. Look, I understand why this is in the beard slot, but it's still dumb. Expect shitty ninjas trying to tuck on the Fort of the Dan to be wearing this shortly before you blunderbust their head off. Unless someone's wearing it with a Dark Adventurer outfit, where it actually works, these guys are all bark and no bite. Behold, the grandest and most powerful beard in the game. Sea Hobos will pick from a variety of styles, but this is definitely the first draft pick. If you see this, and how could you not, it's fucking gigantic, you're already dead. The Bilge Rat beard is also a Sea Hobo favorite, but in a crew of Bilge Rats, the Legacy beard is the captain. If you want to look like an old man, Legacy beard. You want to cosplay Santa Claus? Legacy beard got you covered. You want to go ham on ugly hair dyes? Legacy fucking beard. I've never actually seen anyone but Mets wear this. I'm sure I've met other players wearing it, but nothing about them stood out. So, uh, you're a crazy chungus who occasionally goes on a berserker rampage screaming blood for the blood god, and somehow managing to solo an entire galleon. The icon is wrong, this is not a mustache. This ugly thing is just really long nose hairs. It should be a groomed version of the solemn stash, suitable for merchants and other fancy looking sailors, but nope. You wear lots of face paint, the mohawk, and are a shirtless, look at my gold curse kind of guy. You're also probably skinny, like my character, and use some sort of bandage gloves. Oh wow, a part of the Kraken set that actually looks good. This is the Sea Dog's choice, and is often paired with long hair to accompany it. It's a 50 50 chance that he'll be chill or an elitist asshole who complains about the sword. Expect him to be a cannon god or a hand to hand god. He'll never be good at both. What's that? Uh-huh. Okay, I've been informed we have the green light to go ahead with the meme. Crab people, crab people, crab people. You're a conquistador. Not all conquistadors are minions, you see, as I've run into a lot of racist scumbags wearing this outfit. I'd show you a clip as proof, but Metz uploaded it as an unlisted video just to send to Rare, and his channel got a strike for it, so just trust me on this one. This. Your beard doesn't connect! It's like a fake beard! <laughs> You're a proud member of the Hunter's Call and exclusively use the rifle and sword. Probably some of the rattier skins if possible, though you are not full hobo. You collect tattoos, but are too lazy to obtain the Umbra tattoo. Gets in the way of fishing time, you know? Don't be mistaken, majestic sovereigns are not fishermen. What's the difference, you ask? Fishermen are pacifists. These guys will fight to the bloody death if need be, so don't piss them off. You're probably pretty knowledgeable and have been doing this for a while, but new sailors also tend to gravitate towards this beard. You probably use the blunderbuss and will utilize kegs where others would just sink people the slow way with cannons. Well-groomed pirates may attack you, but it's not personal, and they're generally reasonable and willing to help you out so long as you don't have something that they want. Glitterbeard is often just used as a trophy rather than what it should be, a sign of friendliness. The white flag of the face, if you will. You can either expect to see sweats wearing it, or just super nice dudes who volunteer at their local soup kitchen. Now this is just me talking here, but can y'all stop wearing this if you're not going to be friendly? It's kind of insulting to the man's legacy. He just wanted us to be kind to each other. Look, I'll advocate for bloodthirsty PvP all day, but not while wearing the Glitterbeard. I know a lot of pirates had this style, but I tend to only see Imperial cosplayers wearing it. I've talked about these guys before. You know, pretends they're the Royal Navy, tries to enforce order, that sort of thing. They're still mad about the bucket cancelling being patched, and prefer brigs over other ships. Why? Why does this... It's a mustache, well, not a beard. Other stashes call themselves mustaches, why not this one? Uh, anyway, this is the finely combed mane of any top tier merchant. They'll always be rank 5 emissaries, will usually be on a sloop, and are some of the scariest motherfuckers in your server. Many have tried sinking them on the assumption that they're easy pickings. Many have fallen to these glorious whiskers. These players are also rich, because they prefer to see their numbers go up rather than spending it on anything. I mean, they already have the admiral weapons, what else could they need? 
That's a stupid fucking beard. You don't own the ferryman jacket. You've never worn the ferryman jacket. Lying little shit with your bullshit beard, fuck you. You're a ghost player who never leaves the Fort of the Damned. You probably have a mercenary in your crew, and while you're not the racist flavor of ghost, you're still kind of an asshole. You're one of those guys who won't shut up about a fucking ice region. I genuinely don't understand the appeal of this one. Pirates were tropical, damn it. You dress like a viking and have the buff body type. You also stand by the legend curse, still holding on to the desperate belief that it's cooler than the gold curse, despite the fact that it was a participation trophy for season 1. It was never special, and you will change your mind when you too join us in gold heaven. You'd think this would pair with the Bone Crusher outfit, but these players were not around to pick up the red one, so it doesn't match. These players are instead Christmas elves for some reason. You wear the pirate legend pants and weapons, and you still insist that being a pirate legend is some sort of accomplishment. It's not. You're also still holding out hope that Captaincy will come one day. It won't. I mean, remember that time the creative director reconfirmed that ship naming was coming and then it... didn't? Goes, I remember, Rare. I remember. A right proper swashbuckler's beard. They're tryhards, but they're not assholes. They'll make you rage quit, but at least have the courtesy not to be douchebags over the mic. If you have treasure, they will come. Plan accordingly. Oh hey, another beard that doesn't just use the weird squared off shape at the bottom. Like the legacy beard, this is another great one. Unfortunately, it's more likely to be worn by the Kraken or Ashen Dragon types who think they can be sneaky by jumping overboard and grabbing your ladder while you chase them. Otherwise, this is the beard worn most often by the Helmsman. You remember that really old Three Musketeers animation? These guys like to dress as noblemen or gentlemen pirates, but don't want the association with dandies or aristocrats. They're quite unpredictable. Despite the name, no Bildrot ever wears this because it's not ratty enough. Most players that will wear this are Reapers, and they're actually good enough to sink you, but don't overestimate them, they're still very sinkable. You played Borderlands in 2009 and let it shape your personality, and are directly responsible for the grease contaminating the water. You're not completely devoid of taste though, as the Lucky Hands are often fans of New Vegas as well. As for Sea of Thieves, these players always have a pistol for some reason. You tend to be- wait a minute. Hey, this beard isn't even in the game! Except it's been in the leaked files dating back to like 2019, you just aren't allowed to wear this yet, because Rare insists on drip-feeding content. This isn't the only one either. And before you accuse me of anything, I'm not an insider, I wasn't the one who leaked any of this, I'm not responsible. I'll link the leak in the description if you're curious. You're probably a big fan of the Ashen Curse and wear it despite owning better ones, because even though it's super easy to unlock, it does look cool. You can often be found doing Devil's War Athena voyages because you believe that the annoyance of volcanoes is worth the safety of other crews not being around. Because nobody likes volcanoes. 